I wanted to share some of these former beliefs. Maybe they'll, they'll resonate with you. Suffering is not God's best. Those were some of the things that I was taught. Suffering is not God's best. In fact, it's prosperity. If you're not prospering, then something's wrong with you. You're supposed to receive the report of the Lord. And if you say out loud what a doctor is saying to you or a negative thing that's being said, then you're accepting it. You're not allowed to you come in agreement with it is what we would say. If you come into agreement with it, then you're you're not operating in faith. So that's how those things are, are handled many times by people in these movements is that you don't talk about it. You don't talk about sickness. You don't get power to it. You don't receive the doctor's report. You receive the report of the Lord. You don't pray your will be done. That's a weak prayer. This is not how a, a, a believer in Christ that has power and authority is supposed to pray, regardless of the fact that your, your Savior prayed that way in the Garden of Gethsemane. You are not supposed to pray that way. Your will be done. That is weak. You don't do that. You don't show weakness. Again, that goes back to you don't talk about what you're dealing with. You don't want to show weakness. I've heard people say you fake it till you make it. Some of the things that we believe, they bring more damage than, than healing, really, than freedom. Another one, if you're suffering, then something is wrong with your faith and your understanding of the abundant life Jesus promised, as I was talking about a few minutes ago. You'd be careful who you tell about your ailments and et cetera, your sicknesses, your frustrations, your financial difficulties, your children that are uh, walking away from the Lord, anything that you're dealing with that doesn't look like victory. Be careful who you tell about your about these things, because they may pray against your faith and affect the outcome you desire. Coming against or questioning leaders, leaving a spiritual covering leads to curses. These were all things that I once held to and believed. And these were things that I struggled with at some point in this process over the past few years of dealing with this within our family, because there were times that I blamed myself for my husband's MS, that I thought if I hadn't said anything, if we hadn't said anything, actually, that none of this would have happened. If we hadn't left our spiritual covering, none of this would have happened. I struggled with wanting to tell people because I didn't, you know, it was still that mindset of, should I talk about this? Should I not talk about it? And finally getting free from that and realizing it's good to talk about it because you have other brothers and sisters in Christ, depending on who you're talking to, that you need to be asking for prayer and sharing these things, helping them to bear your burden with you, that we are supposed to do that as believers. So those were some of the things that I dealt with. And perhaps you have dealt with them as well. And that's, again, why I want to share them. I want to reiterate that again. This is why I share them, so that you can be encouraged in the Lord and maybe recognize some of these areas that you've battled with in your life and realize that Scripture helps us and it encourages us. And that as believers in Christ, we can encourage one another in the Lord, pray for one another, bear each other's burdens, cry with one another, rejoice with one another, this is what we are to do as believers in Christ. 